we create machine catalog to provision VMs and we create delivery group to assign those VMs to users or groups so they can use those VMs. In previous video, we have created a machine catalog. It will create linked clones, means they will read the base image and the changes will be saved in, on, on personal VDisk. And now we are creating delivery groups. Delivery groups is basically a collection of desktops and applications that are created from machine catalogs. Of course, you can create delivery groups based on departments, based on different groups, based on applications, based on desktops. In our example, I would like to create a delivery group for VDI users group that we have created in one of our earlier videos. And we will assign the, those VMs of machine catalog to this delivery group. So let's continue. This is the catalog that we have created in previous video test two virtual machines. How many virtual machines out of these two I want to use for this delivery group? Uh, I can specify it here. I will say two. I want to use both of them. And this catalog, the machines which are inside this catalog, they will be used to deliver desktops so desktop selected by default which is fine because this is what that catalog is to so deliver desktops and here we can specify users and groups who will use those desktops VDI users so member of VDI users will be able to use those desktops. And inside this VDI users, I have two users. Remember storefront, uh, remember the Citrix receiver while you were installing VDA inside master image. We installed Citrix receiver as well. Here we have option. If we want configure that Citrix receiver which is inside the master image or inside the virtual desktop. Here we can do it. Here we can specify URL. So that URL will automatically be configured inside Citrix receiver. Or we can leave it this option blank. So user will manually type those entries. But in my case, I'm adding this storefront server. I'll name it XD1, description, then desktop server run, and URL, which is HTTPS, xd1.itsense.com, and xd1.rtsense.com slash Citrix slash store slash discovery. Okay. So, receiver inside virtual desktop will automatically be configured to use this URL. So, let me select this storefront URL for Citrix receiver, which is inside our VDI or virtual desktops, which will, which will, uh, you know, this value will automatically be configured inside the so receiver, which is installed under those VMs. Delivery group name, your choice. 
I would say internal VDI users or no, let's say corp VDI users. Yeah. And display name, let's say corporate VDI user oops users and description which is uh, Let's say VDI for VDI users group. Okay. All set. So, machine catalog for provision for provisioning VMs, storefront assigning those, sorry, uh, delivery group assigning those VMs to users or groups. And this is it. This is our delivery group. Under details, you can see the summary, I mean, those options which are enabled for this delivery group. Um, Refresh. If there is any change, you will see it here. So there are a few options under this catalog. You can see the catalog which it's used or this which is used for this delivery group. Uh, details for all settings configured for this delivery group and if I edit this delivery group I can make changes for example I can under machine allocation I can allocate machines to each users manually I can specify, change the display name. I can, by default, there is one de virtual desktop per user. I can change that. I can change the time zone. I can disable this delivery group temporarily. I can force secure ICA connection. I can change this URL for Citrix receiver that's inside virtual desktop. Under power management, I can change. There are two options for weekdays and weekends. I can change when they will be on and when they will be, let's say, automatically goes off. Um, something like DPM, you know, or uh, not DPM is basically uh, for, I mean, uh, it's not exactly DPM. It's it's like basically uh, virtual machine management. DPM is basically for hosts. The host will go shut down. But uh, this one is for VMs. Access policy. Uh, this is for NetScaler. Uh, we are not talking about that. Uh, so power management. I change it. I want these machines to be on. Um, yeah, uh, let's say so this is how you basically customize or edit your uh, delivery groups. You can always turn on maintenance for the delivery group. Let's say uh, you are doing some updates for your virtual machines or machine catalog and what you want. Uh, you want uh, don't want users to access those VMs so you can enable, the, uh, enable for that uh, maintenance. And these are the user, uh, sorry, computer accounts which are created by uh, during machine catalog, uh, when machine catalog was created, uh, Zen Desktop created these computer accounts for those two VMs inside computers OU. 
because if you remember during machine catalog it asked us where you want to create those computer accounts um, so this is it very simple machine catalogs for provisioning VMs delivery group for assigning those VMs to users so that they can use it so this is it guys and I'd like to see you in next video